Hi, good morning, and welcome to Carver County Library Virtual Storytime. My name is Cindy, and I'm going to be doing our story time this morning. So I just want to welcome you all, find a place to sit. We're going to get started with a song in just a minute. Um, it's a beautiful day out there, and we are going to have a lot of fun. All right, let's get started. Um, let's start with the story time song. Are you ready? Can you sing it with me? Story time, story time. Welcome to our story time. With lots of books and fun for me and you. We will sing and dance too. Very good. And if you want to put your name in the comments, your parent or caregiver can put your name in the comments and then I can say hi. Like hi Kai and hi Brooklyn and welcome to story time. Story time, story time. Oh, let's clap hands this time. Can you clap hands, Archie? Hi, clap your hands. Clap your hands for story time. Clap your hands for story time. Lots of books and fun for me and you. We will sing and dance too. Oh, very good. Can you jump up high with me? Get up and jump. Jump up high for story time. Jump up high for story time. Lots of books and fun for me and you. We will sing and dance too. Oh, very good. Let's do one more. Put your arms out and spin around. Spin around for story time. Spin around for story time. Lots of books and fun for me and you. We will sing and dance too. Oh, very good. Welcome to story time. We are going to have lots of fun today. All right. I always have my friend with me. Are you ready to call out Blossom? Let's call out Blossom. She's in her box right here. You can see it. Say, Blossom, come out. Blossom, really loud so she can hear you. Blossom. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. How are you today? Oh, Blossom, they say you forgot your tail. Can you pull out your tail? Oh. I always forget my tail. Sorry. All right, let's pull out her tail. Here it comes. Oh, it's a long tail today. Whoa, you are very long. You are a long bookworm, Blossom. I am. I'm a really long bookworm. And you know what? I grow every time I read a book. And I love books. Do you like books? I love books. Do you like books? I do. I like books. Whoa, we're, is, we're in the right place. It's a library. <laughs> well, we have a letter of the day today. Um, what do you think the letter is? Shall we see? Mm, let's see what the letter is today. <gasps> what letter is that? It's a letter K. It's a letter K. Some of you have a K in your name, don't you? Right? Let's put the letter K up here. What sound does the letter K make? K, K, right? K is the letter K. And this is the capital letter K. Like you'd have at the beginning of a name, like Kai. Kai, your name begins at the letter K, and you have the capital letter K at the beginning, right? Well, there's a lowercase letter K, too. Now, you need to think. Do you think it looks the same? Or does it look different than the capital letter K? Hmm. Is it the same or different? This one's a little tricky. Do you know, Blossom? I don't. I think it's kind of the same, but maybe a little different? I think you're right. Let's look. Here is the lowercase letter K. Look at that. It is very much the same, but with one little difference. Can you see the difference? The capital letter K has a long, long line and then two lines that go slanted and meet in the middle, right? The lowercase letter K is similar. It has a long line and two diagonal lines, but the long line is taller, isn't it? 
than the diagonals, right? That's the lowercase. K, k. And you would use a lowercase letter K in the middle of a name or at the end of a name like Zach. Hi, Zach. You've got a K in your name. Or Brooklyn. Brooklyn has a K in her name. Hi, Allie. I see that you're here, too. You don't have a K in your name. I don't have a K in my name, either. What else does the letter K stand for? Look at this. We have a K-bag. Let's see what's in the K-bag. What's in the K-bag? Ooh, what is in here? I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Look what's in here. This is a fun one. Does anyone know what this is? This is a kazoo. When you hum into it, it makes a funny noise. It's a fun instrument. A kazoo begins with the letter K. And, uh-oh, look who this is. Who's this? Who's that? That's a kangaroo. Kangaroo begins with the letter K. And there's a kangaroo in our story today. <laughs> I know that. There is. Our story today has a kangaroo in it. Oh, so does our song. Oh, and look who else is in here. Who's that? That's a koala. And there's a koala in our story today, too. Yay! We have a kangaroo and a koala. I like koalas. Hi, koala. Koala begins with the letter K. So K is a really fun letter. But now it's time to say goodbye to Blossom. Say bye-bye, Blossom. Bye-bye. She'll come out again at the end of story time. We are going to hear a funny story about a kangaroo and a koala. All right, I'm going to turn this just a little bit so you can see more of my flannel board. And we're going to talk just for a minute about kangaroos and koalas. Now, do you know where kangaroos and koalas live? Where do they live? They, do they live? Well, some of them are in the zoo, but they don't normally live in Minnesota, do they? Mm, no, they don't normally live here. They live in a country called Australia, and Australia is a long way away from Minnesota. Now, we have some books <coughs> at the library if you want to learn about kangaroos or koala bears. We've got some great books at the library all about kangaroos and koalas and other animals called marsupials. We've got books about marsupials. That's what a kangaroo and a koala are, is they're marsupials. They carry their babies in pockets. So that's kind of a fun thing. So this story takes place in Australia a long time ago. It's an Aboriginal tale called The Koala and the Tree Kangaroo. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever heard of a tree kangaroo, but I'm going to show you some pictures. Who's that? That's a koala. Hello, Mr. Koala. And who's this? There's some koalas, so we know what koalas look like, right? Sometimes we say koala bears, but they're not bears, are they? This is a tree kangaroo. He's a kangaroo that lives in trees. They're smaller than the kangaroos you're usually used to see in the zoo or in pictures. They are kangaroos that are small, and they live in the trees. So this is a story about a kangaroo, a tree kangaroo, and a koala. <clears throat> now, once upon a time, there was a drought in Australia. Now, a drought is when there's no water. Water starts drying up. In fact, we're kind of in a drought right now. There have been pictures of Gooseberry Falls not having much water. I was going to have a picture for you, and I don't. And that's kind of a drought where there's not enough water and sometimes lakes start getting lower and rivers start getting lower. Well, in, in this story, there was a bad drought. I'm gonna put a tree up here. And our friends, Koala 
and Shri Kangaroo were trying to figure out what to do. And they were thinking. And they were scared because when the water dries up, the plants dry up, and animals don't have water to drink or plants to eat, and everybody starts dying, and it's not a fun thing. And Koala said, Tree Kangaroo, I'm so worried. What are we going to do? And Tree Kangaroo said, Oh, Koala, you know, a long time ago when I was just a baby little Joey in my mama's pouch, there was a drought in Australia. And my mama took me on a long journey over hills and through valleys, over hills and through valleys until she found a dry riverbed and she was able to dig down until she found water. And she took a sip and I took a sip and we survived the drought. Oh, do you think we could do that? Could you find that place again and we could find some water too, said Koala. And Tree Kangaroo said, mm, I don't know, but we could try. So the two friends together said, let's travel. Now, this is a story where there is a lot of actions that you get to help me with. So first we're going to say, let's travel and point. So say, let's travel. And now you need to use your hands and we're going to go over hills and through valleys and over hills and through valleys and over hills and through valleys until they came to a place where there was a dry riverbed. So let's try that, ready? So they traveled over hills and through valleys, over hills and through valleys, over hills and through valleys, till they came to a place where there was a dry riverbed. And Koala said, oh, is this the place, Tree Kangaroo? And Tree Kangaroo looked around. Now you gotta put your hand over your eyes and look around like you're looking. And he looked around and she said, no, this isn't the place. Okay, said Koala. Let's do it again. Let's travel. Now, go over the hills and through the valleys and over the hills and through the valleys and over the hills and through the valleys until they came to a place where there was a dry riverbed. And Koala said, Oh, is this the place? Can we get some water here? And Tree Kangaroo looked around. Put your hand over your eyes. Ready? Look around. Looked around. No, no, this doesn't look like the right place. All right, what do we do? Let's travel. And they went over the hills and through the valleys and over the hills and through the valleys and over the hills and through a valley till they came to a place where there was a dry riverbed. And Koala said, oh, I'm getting really hot and thirsty. Is, is this the place where your mom found water? And Tree Kangaroo looked around, ready, look around looked around and she said yes I think this is the place oh said Koala what do we do now well my mom went down to the middle of the riverbed and she started to dig oh let's go do that and the two friends went down into the valley and they got down by the riverbed and Koala said oh tree kangaroo um this was your idea it was your mom that had this idea so I think you should have the honor of digging first. I'll just sit over here under this tree and wait for my turn. So Koala sat down under a tree to wait. All right, there he is. And Tree Kangaroo got busy digging. Now, you have to dig with me. Take both hands and we're gonna dig. Pretend you're digging like a kangaroo. And she dug and she dug and she threw out the dirt and she dug and she dug. She threw out the dirt and she dug and she dug. She threw out the dirt and she dug and she dug. And she got so tired. You can wipe your forehead. Whew! So tired. And she said, Oh, koala, I've been digging a long time and I'm really tired. I think it's your turn. And koala jumped up and he said, Sure thing. I'll be right there. And he started walking down to the riverbed and all of a sudden he stubbed his toe. And he went, oh, 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 I stubbed my toe. I'm sorry, tree kangaroo. I'm going to have to go take care of my toe. But I'll take the next shift. You keep digging. So Koala sat down under the tree and tree kangaroo started digging again. Are you ready? Let's dig. 
and she dug and she dug and she threw out the dirt and she dug and she dug and she threw out the dirt she dug and she dug and she threw out the dirt she dug and she dug and she got so tired Whew. and she said koala this is a lot of work you really have to take a turn i am so tired and koala got up and he came he said i i'm ready to dig i'm ready to dig and he started walking down into the dry riverbed and all of a sudden he grabbed his tail now in those days koalas had long furry tails and he grabbed his tail and he said oh oh i stepped on my tail it really hurts i need to sit down and take care of my tail and so koala sat down with his long furry tail mm. do you think he really is hurting himself or do you think he's just trying to get out of work? What do you think? Well, Tree Kangaroo got back to work. Are you ready? And she dug and she dug and she threw out the dirt. And she dug and she dug and she threw out the dirt. She dug and she dug and she, oh, oh, she said, koala, koala, the bottom of the hole is looking damp. I think we're almost there. Are you sure you don't want to turn? And koala jumped up. And he came a little closer. He said, oh, I'm pretty excited. Um, well, I would take a turn, you know, digging. But, um, you know, it was your mom's idea. And I don't want to take away the honor of finding water. That should be your honor. But, Koala, I've done all the work. Well, I know, but I think you should be digging now to find the water. And Koala sat down again. And Tree Kangaroo was so hot and tired, but she was so thirsty. She kept digging. Ready? She dug and she dug and she threw out the dirt and she dug and she dug. And all of a sudden, the hole started filling up with water. And Tree Kangaroo jumped up and down and she said, Koala, 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 the hole is filling up with water. We're good. We're saved. We got water. And Koala jumped up from where he was sitting and he ran down to the hole and he pushed tree kangaroo out of the way oh and he stuck his head in the hole and he and he started drinking all the water now koala has his head in the hole and his tail is right straight up in tree kangaroo's face right in tree kangaroo's face and she's like she got so mad she did all the work and now koala was drinking all the water i'm so mad and she grabbed a hold of koala's tail and she yanked <gasps> and the tail came off yikes Ooh. I didn't mean to do that. And Koala jumped up and he went, ouch, Ooh, you just pulled my tail off. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to pull your tail off, but I was so mad. I mean, I did all the work and you were drinking all the water and... Oh, you're right. I wasn't a very good friend. I, I was so thirsty and all I could think about was how thirsty I was and... I'm sorry, Tree Kangaroo. Will you forgive me? And Tree Kangaroo said, I'm sorry I pulled your tail. Will you forgive me? I will. And the two friends shared the water. They survived the drought. And that is why koalas have very short tails. Now, that is the story of the Tree Kangaroo and the koala. Did you like that story? I like that story. And there's a lot of lessons you can learn from stories like that, like how to be a good friend. Do you think you could be a good friend? Was Koala a good friend? He didn't do any work, did he? And Tree Kangaroo did all the work. Tree Kangaroo was a good friend because she shared the water. Now we're gonna sing a song about kangaroos, so I need you to get up, put your, put your front paws together and get your jumping legs ready, and I need you to jump like a kangaroo. Are you ready? Kanga, kanga, kangaroo. Kanga, kanga, kangaroo. Kanga, kanga, kangaroo. Kangaroos abound. 
Now, kangaroos have pockets. Can you make a pocket to hold your joey, your little baby? You could put a pocket with your hands in front of your tummy. I have a pocket to hold my joey. Kangaroos abound. I have a pocket to hold my joey. Kangaroos abound. Now jump around. Ready? Kanga, kanga, kangaroo. Kanga, kanga, kangaroo. Kanga, kanga, kangaroo. Kangaroos abound. Hi, Carson. Hi, Owen. Hi, Evan. Let's try, can you show me your tail? Kangaroos have big, strong tails to help them balance when they hop around. Ready? I have a tail. My tail is long to help me balance. Kangaroos abound. My tail is long to help me balance. Kangaroos abound. Jump around. Kanga, kanga, kangaroo. Kanga, kanga, kangaroo. Kanga, kanga, kangaroo. Kangaroos abound. Oh, very good. Now show me your strong legs because kangaroos have very strong legs so they can leap really far. Ready? My legs are strong so I can jump. Kangaroos abound. My legs are strong so I can jump. Kangaroos abound. Now jump around. Kanga, kanga, kangaroo. Kanga, kanga, kangaroo. Kanga, kanga, kangaroo. Kangaroos abound. Let's try the chorus one more time. Ready? Jump around your living room. Kanga, kanga, kangaroo. Kanga, kanga, kangaroo. Kanga, kanga, kangaroo. Kangaroos abound. All right. Thank you, little kangaroos. And it is time to call out Blossom again. So let's call out Blossom. Say, Blossom, come out. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Hello, hello, hello. I'm so glad you joined us for story time today. Did you have fun talking? What? They're saying I forgot my tail again. Well, Blossom, you did. Look at that. You forgot your tail. Oh, she is so silly, isn't she? I'm so glad you joined us for story time today. Jumping around like a kangaroo. Yeah, that's funny, isn't it? Well, I like that story, though. It taught you things, didn't it? Like, like if we had a big drought, I bet I could find water by digging in the bottom of a dry stream bed. Mmm, that's a good idea, right? And how to be a good friend. You want to be nice to each other and help take care of each other and not be selfish, right? Oh, that's good. Well, it is time to say goodbye, so let's play Jack in the Box. Are you ready? Can you get into your boxes? Cover your face with your hands and crouch down and be really, really quiet. And I'll say, Jack in the Box, so quiet and still, will you come out? And you jump up and say, yes, I will, as loud as you want. Okay, get into your boxes, ready? Jack in the box, so quiet and still. Will you come out? Yes, I will. All right, well, I am so glad you joined us today. You know what, we're gonna close with just a quick song of If You're Happy and You Know It, because Blossom really likes that song. Can you sing that with me? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Now stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Now you say, shout hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Now you have to do all three things. Can you do that? Oh, I don't know. That's tricky. If you're happy and you know it, 
do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray! Oh, we have to do one more verse. One more verse, Blossom. Yes, my favorite. I have a hard time clapping because... I'm a bookworm, and I don't have any hands, and I have a hard time stomping because, well, I don't have any feet, but I can wiggle. So can you wiggle like a worm with me? If you're happy and you know it, wiggle like a worm. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle like a worm. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle like a worm. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Thank you so much for joining me for story time today. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye now. We'll see you next time.